Hello everyone, and welcome to some post-Elden Beast invasions, where I found myself in Farrah, Missoula, with a host with questionable connection, and a phantom with gear that makes me very suspicious that they are of incredibly high level. Um, so, what am I doing now that I have beaten the game? Well, I'm just experimenting, having a good time, and trying out a bunch of different weapons. Um, here, as you can see, I'm using the Halo Scythe, and in some later invasions, I'll be bringing out the Sacred Relic Sword. And I'm also testing out um, the Godskin Peeler, because that was um, one of the weapons that I ended up first using when I started playing PvP in, like, early, early patches with my first character. Um, so PvP looked very different than for then versus now. Um, but, as I said, with the host with questionable connection on a potentially very high-level phantom, I am being incredibly careful I'm trying to figure out the, uh, the situation. Like, what do I need to watch out for? How high of, high of a level is this, is this phantom, and what can they pull, pull out of their pockets to make this invasion more challenging? And also, can I get these banished knights involved? Because you also have hopefully seen how well George cleans, cleans up Stormvale, and these guys, they do an even better job. So, yeah, um, though it'll be another minute, put in your, put your guesses down of how many runes I'm going to get from the, from this phantom, because it is a lot. And I guess the other thing that I am concerned about in this invasion is, and there, thankfully, I catch the, um, that I catch sight of them and see them before they just start spamming pest threads. Um, the other thing that I am concerned about as I was going through this is, is the host going to try and resummon another friend? Because you can have multiple friends, so this is, uh, there's a lot going on in my head, and here, I guess I've taken out a bleed peeler. Now, is is this a very powerful weapon? Absolutely. Do I need it against this guy? Probably, because he outlevels me by more than a factor of ten. And so that is your that is your hint. Um, also, I've been testing out double slash on the on the peeler because. Um, Spin Slash, we know that it has really good hyper armor, true combos, very good. Um, but is it as fun as putting Double Slash on Peeler? Not really, and I like to have the, a little bit of a forward mo momentum for a roll catch. Yeah, and then, so look in the bottom right corner and check to see if you, so if you guessed just shy of 70,000 runes, you would be correct. And then the host kind of just evaporated because bleed peeler. Um, but yeah. So, and now here is a sacred relic sword invasion in uh, round one of two versus, versus this um, host and phantom. Um, they are just um, two two gamers playing jolly co-op. Um, there, unfortunately, I was not able to capitalize on on the guard break. Um, but as you can see, the damage on Wave of Gold at this particular level is kind of mediocre when compared to other Ashes of War like Stormcaller and other things that you could potentially do with bleed procs. However, it does have amazing area coverage, which is great. And the little extra crit modifier and the reach on Sacred Relic Sword, and also look at that hyper armor. Um, never underestimate hyper armor, especially when I know how to... Um, I can't say I know how to calculate it, but I knew that I could withstand the... Uh, that I could withstand the, the running L1 and trade. And now here we... Um, this was at a later time I ran into ran into these two again, um, and this time I am using the Halo Scythe, and I think this is a really cool invasion that I have with the Halo Scythe. Um, so it's not a bad weapon by any stretch. A little bit of passive bleed, some guard, some extra um, guard piercing, 
good reach, and amount of, and amount of hyper armor, and a pretty decent move set. Um, like it is, like it, it's good, it's reliable, and it's nice. However, it, um, from my experience, it seems to get outclassed by the uh, by the other um, sites. However, um, being able to toggle the um, who I'm locked onto, I can put the giant um, the giant gold rings at both the phantom and the host to kind of um, dispel aggro because these guys um, they want to be in the fight. There's not really PVE around because of the merchant and the um, and the demi humans up are still still up a ways, and both of them want to be in the fray, which good on these guys. So I'm. This is one of the times where, even though I'm in an empty spot, I'm able to use the Ash of War when I have space to just give myself a little bit more. And here's just a rejection to just get them off of me. <laughs> no, no ledges, no ledges in sight. Um, but the damage on the on the Halo Scythe is a bit lower than what you can get with the regular Scythe or the Grave Scythe, especially with infusions. Um, if you've seen some of my old Lantern Friend invasions, uh, Blood Flame Blade Stormcaller on a Grave Scythe is great for um, exploding hosts. But that being said, the Ash of War is is unique and, and is really nice on the Halo Scythe. And then the fourth Scythe that I hadn't mentioned yet, the Winged Scythe, being able to shut down um, Flask Recovery is a very powerful ability. So the Halo Scythe, when compared to the other, the other three, is a little bit outshined. Still very reliable. And as you can see, like it's doing really good work in this invasion, guard break, and do the extra damage. And I think because of the low um, GG guys, and I think because of the lower um, base resistances, the, like for the flat or the for flat damage. Oh, um, I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so here is a poor solo host. Well, they're not solo. Um, they ran. They got away from from their from their friend, and um, seeing that there wasn't really PVE available in the tunnel, um, I just started seeing seeing red and just went to town. Um, so if you have seen and well, I uh, I have a friend who happens to be the sun bro in this one, who unfortunately is a little bit too late. Um, sorry, Nocturnal Symphony. Um, I I saw red, and it, this is what happened to your host. <laughs> so I deserved that. We played some jolly co-op afterwards. Um, go check him out on Twitch. Very, very funny, very kind, and just a very relaxing channel. Um, channel with some Elden Ring. And now here's actually an uh, honest solo Taunter's Tongue host, and you can just see um, Sacred Relic Sword, and I'm actually going to have an offhand Poison Dagger. And Claws are really good, so I'm very happy with how I was able to just, like, um, keep off the aggression and not have the bleed build up. But finishing the thought from earlier, um, the Halo Scythe just seems to be outclassed relative to the other Reapers, at least in this in this particular patch. However, because the, um, the flat damage of resistances are lower at low level, I don't think that the lower damage was really um, was really as much of a problem. And GG, honest TT guy, lo loved that fight. And now here is another. Um, first of two segment where I'm running into just some guys and this one pay attention to this phantom I have they do something that I have never seen before in Elden Ring and it is glorious they they have a winning attitude do they win no but they've got they've got a winning attitude so there I was just trying to use rejection to throw them off the ledge but however since my ambush didn't really work um i decided you know what we're just gonna wave we're gonna have a good time so you see currently they're holding a club we're in caleb there are rod zombies 
knowing that um, they don't have a lot of clothes, I, I like to pull out poison weapons to take advantage of that, especially since the host is throwing magic. So they put their so as you can see, the phantom put their club away. They're very adamant about not having their club and punching me with the with their gauntlet while holding a seal on their hand, and they follow me into a horde of about 30 rot zombies and they're still trying to fight me with their bare fists if that i've never seen that before and in my book that is a winning attitude gg my gg fellow gamer you <laughs> did you win no in spirit did you win absolutely this one just with how silly that was I'm not going to forget just someone charging with bare fists into a horde of zombies please don't do that um, but then I run into these guys again and um, as they continue their journey over into Lyernia where we can see a little bit more of the uh, halo scythe and also double slash on peeler now granted you can probably get the same or better result with um, Spin Slash. However, I really like having the multi-hit Ash of War when you can do it on um, when you have, when you wield it one-handed, and the little um, step forward is nice. And I think it can potentially be used as a better roll catch than um, than Spin Slash. And that was just kind of funny because I knocked. I knocked the phantom out of the air onto my head, so I Goomba stomped myself. And now the host takes notice and um, likes to span, likes to throw around some glintstone pebble. That's that's all right. It's not Elden Ring if there isn't a little bit of spam. Look at that double slash. That was that was nice. Yeah, because every every once in a while, you need um, you just need to take care of business, and with the one-handed, you have the thrust um, the thrust running light attack. Um, unfortunately, this host uh, learns quite quickly. Uh, bleed weapons uh, kind of cause people to explode sometimes, but Elden Ring has a lot of burst damage and. Uh, there's not always a ton of health at low level. So um, I hope you enjoyed the me kind of goofing around with um, different somber upgrade faith weapons. Um, there's probably going to be more of these, so I hope you enjoy it. And I will leave you with this one uh, last, uh, last silly, silly invasion where uh, if there's a fingerprint shield and, uh, and a pokey weapon. So you can probably guess what happens. And again, like I said, um, go go check out Nocturnal Symphony uh, over on, uh, out on Twitch. We had a really good time doing some Taunter's Tongue through the Academy at respectively me at thir level 13 and him at 15 with no weapon upgrades. It was it was a ton it was a ton of fun. And um, yeah, so thank you all for joining me. Uh, I really appreciate all your time. I hope you're enjoying the videos. And yeah, hopefully I will catch you in the next one and have an awesome day, everybody. See ya.